Okay, you're getting ready to start your focus drawings. Let's talk about what are the focus drawings. The focus drawings are things I've created. So everything that you see on that page is something that Miss Justice has drawn herself. And you are going to replicate them in the space provided. Each day you'll pick two, maybe three, if you have extra time, but definitely two to replicate, duplicate in the space provided, and then I will make sure to date those every day. And on Friday, I'll be grading your focus drawings for that week. I'll be looking for craftsmanship, precision. I'll be looking for completion. So those are the things that will affect your grade. The thought is that over the weeks, you're going to improve your ability to replicate the focus drawings. Not only the quality, that would be the craftsmanship, but also the speed at which you're able to duplicate the image. This helps your hand-eye coordination. This helps build your visual vocabulary. The more you see, the more you draw, the more tools you have in your creative toolbox to draw from, okay? Um, so, not every focus drawing grade goes into the grade book, though. I take the highest focus drawing grade at the end of week four. So you'll have week one, two, three, and four to get a, a great grade, and that will go into the grade book for a progress report. Then you'll have five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you actually have five weeks, um, the second part of the nine weeks, to get your highest focus drawing grade. The expectations will increase each week for the level of craftsmanship and completion and quality work that you're doing. So again, this exercise is to build your hand-eye coordination and it's also to develop your visual vocabulary. In addition, the focus drawings are going to help every single day to get you into that quiet artistic space where the right side of your brain is warmed up. So this is our daily warm up. And the right side of your brain is the side of your brain that's responsible for spatial recognition, colors, and so forth, which is the artistic side. Um, and sometimes the right side of the brain needs a little warming up because most of the time we're using the left side of our brain, especially when um, we're writing, reading, talking, that's left side of the brain stuff. So we do a warm up to help the artistic side get going and help us transition from maybe the busyness of the hallway to the quietness of the art room. All right, go ahead and pick two, any two for week one. Get started. When you're done with those two, bring it to me and I will date it. Thanks.